So depending on the university, it has to be um, recognized by the University of Adelaide plus the GPA requirement. So the point of difference with us at pre-master's level is that we look at qualification from a wider range of institutions. Uh, hi everyone, greetings from Pi International Education. Uh, my name is Sharik. I'm the head of business at Pi International Education. And today we have with us one of our esteemed guests from University of Adelaide College, Mr. Alex. Hi Alex, how are you? It's a wonderful time to be here. Yeah, it's really nice to have you at our offices and I'm really excited to do this session with you. Uh, we have been longing to do this with uh, Adelaide College for a really long time now and now that you're here, I think it's a good opportunity for our viewers to get to know more about University of Adelaide College, the wonderful programs, the city of Adelaide, yeah. you know, uh, and everything in between. So Alex, we discussed a lot about the foundation programs and the degree transfer programs that cater to the demands of the students wanting to pursue an undergrad degree at yep. Adelaide. Uh, now let's talk about the bigger boys. Yeah. Let's talk about students who want to study uh, master's programs at the University of Adelaide. Uh, so the what type of programs or opportunities are available for them through the pathway? Yeah, so with studying the pre-master's program with us, the students could actually study a wide range of discipline within the business um, sector. They will also have access to public health if they want to do so, and also um, computing and innovation. So those three streams, technology, business, and public health. Yeah. Right, so students uh, who have graduated from the IT sector or who have taken business um at the undergrad level can pursue their masters, even public health, so health science is also available. So uh, just like the undergrad, there are like uh, the pre-masters accelerated and the standard programs. Yeah. So yeah, could you little, please highlight about that? Correct, so that's still really aligned with our philosophy around recognize, recognizing individual students' achievements, right? So we don't impose one cookie cutter program for everyone to suit. We like to suit that and tailor make it to a student's uh, thing. So similarly, like our degree transfer program, the pre-master's has three streams as well. So the standard one, um, accelerated and the extended. So just like we discussed before, it's really just programs designed with supplementary courses to address deficiencies in the student's academic achievement. And the accelerated program for that matter is... Uh, could be regarded as an equivalent to the first semester of the master's degree, right? So it is, yeah. It takes you to the second semester of the first year of master's. Exactly right, because that accelerated program is for students who just narrowly missed the direct entry requirement. They don't need a lot of assistance at all to move into the program. So within the first semester of the pre-master's program, we just add one subject to help them get up to speed. Then the next semester, we'll be studying the master core courses already. Yeah. Yeah, so basically, um, just like the undergrad level students who are not being able to score that higher grade to get into the university directly, correct, can still uh, find themselves at the University of Adelaide through these wonderful pathway options. That are That's right, yeah. Um, yeah, so let's talk a little bit about the entry requirements then. I think uh, completing bachelor's with a GPA of 2.5, is it? Uh, 3, 2.5, depends on the stream. So just to as a point of comparison, a no uh, standard master's program at the University of Adelaide requires a GPA of 4.0, so a, a bit difficult to achieve. And the university has strict restri restrictions about where that qualification was earned, right? So depending on the university, it has to be um, recognized by the University of Adelaide plus the GPA requirement. So the point of difference with us at pre-master's level is that we look at qualification from a wider range of institutions in Bangladesh, for example. So it could be a four-year degree from a recognized institution. It could even be a three-year degree from um, an institution that's within our list, right? So we, we, and we offer that for extended programs um, because considerably a three-year bachelor's degree is not comparable to a four-year bachelor's degree. But it doesn't also eliminate the fact that the student, it's not a barrier for them to study the master's program. We recognize that it's still a completion, it's still an achievement, and we address that with the programs that we have at pathway levels. Great. I mean, yeah, so moving forward to the costs and the scholarships that are a little bit uh, available uh, to motivate the students. Um, so for at pre-master's level, what are we looking at? What are the prices that... 
Yeah, so a, a master's program from the University of Adelaide is an excellent investment. So, you know, it's well-regarded um, qualification from a group of eight institutions. Uh, the pre-master's program starts at 41500 for example, for its standard degree and with an 18% scholarship on offer if they reach the high tier um, threshold for us. If they don't reach that, it's a 10% uh, discount as well. So if the student has qualified for the higher tier scholarship, that's nearly $8,000 off their program as well. And the same thing with the degree transfer program, the students are also eligible for what we call the progression scholarship offered by the University of Adelaide. So it goes from 10% up to 25% for the duration of the program. Just like the undergrad level, I mean, it's up to the student to get a certain result and, you know, if they qualify, they can get the 25% scholarship. Exactly. Yeah. It's really difficult to achieve because we're all about supporting our students to achieve success. So if a student just devote considerable amount of time, not too much, you know, because we want our students to also enjoy their lifestyle and offer in Australia. So just study that together with taking advantage of the support services that we have in college. I think a student could achieve a 25% scholarship with the university. I'm sure that a lot of students have fulfilled their dreams uh, through this pathway program because, yeah, just like we were discussing, the college completed 20 years with the University of Adelaide, right? And I can't really concur, I can't really agree more to the matter that so many students, so many lives would have been, you know, so many students would have been successful uh, through this pathway program. And had this pathway program not existed, had University of Adelaide College not existed, a lot of students might not have been able to achieve this achieve their dream of studying at a group of eight universities. Definitely. And our students love studying with us. In fact, at the moment, we have... Two of our alumni who have studied the Pathway program with us, completed the degree at the University of Adelaide, are now working for the college. So, yeah. So, we engaged them as marketing coordinators with the college and really great people to work with as well. We had a recent event to celebrate our 20th year anniversary and we have alumni come join us. So, these are people who've achieved their dreams of um, achieving an Australian education and also found life in Adelaide. So they're now successful professionals in their own right. And I'm really happy to see students go through that and, you know, uh, help them through to achieve that success. You just mentioned that uh, two of the alumni from the college are working as market coordinators, which brings me to uh, which thing, which I think we need to discuss because students are getting post-study work rights yeah. after completing their undergrad degree at the University of Adelaide. Yes. And uh, how, I think it's about five to six years depending on their programs, right? Definitely. So even, well, we have an extended post-study work rights, which we call, so that gives a student a five to six years of stay in Australia, so automatically awarded to them. That is if they study the program within the list of those qualifications. If it's not in the list, it's still four years of stay. So considerable amount of time, I think. I always tell the students when they're in Adelaide to take advantage of the lot of job opportunities that I can do within that. And not so much for money, I think, but also for networking and for experience. So to gain that as they are studying, because when they graduate, they will have a network of people that they can call on as referees when they apply for the first job. So that's really a good thing because there's a lot of opportunities for them to explore in there. Yeah. Yeah, true. So, uh, and this uh, work, post-study work that you mentioned is automatic, right? I mean, depending on the programs, they can get four to six years. Correct, yeah. Long time uh, to gain networking. And of course, uh, in the future, if they even want to get, you know, apply for PR as well, it helps to get to their... Correct. So within that period of time, it's a long time. <laughs> a year or two is a, a long time. So students could literally explore living in, in in Adelaide, for example, and enjoy their lifestyle there, not as a student, but as a working professional. Obviously, when they're working, they will have more money to spend on themselves. So oftentimes, a lot of people love that lifestyle and decide that they want to stay. And that's when they could just, you know, um, work on their permanent residence as well. Uh, it's really helpful when they have a job and, and that gives them better outcome as well. Right. So, yeah, I mean, uh, Adelaide as a city is also, it's like beautiful, it's livable and lovable. It is, yeah. Yeah. In, um, uh, it has 
the University of Adelaide. It's a big thing in itself. And also the fact that, you know, it's a beautiful city, a very friendly community to live in. And it's very safe for international students. It is, yes. So students wanting to pursue an education in Australia, you know uh, where you want to go and where you want to be. Right, so uh, we discussed everything, I think, re in regards to the undergrad programs and the graduate pathway programs as well. Um, students who are hearing us or who will be looking into this session uh, later on, um, I would request you to come to our offices at Dhanmundi, Banani, Uttara and Siddhishwari. We have four uh, locations in Dhaka and talk to our expert counsellors and get to know more about University of Adelaide College and the uh, options that you have so that you know you can pick and choose and decide which option you want to pursue um, I would really like to thank you again Alex for taking out time from your busy schedule and coming to our offices and meeting us it was wonderful to have you here um, we will be meeting a lot of students uh, in the afternoon but uh, yeah I mean this session was very important to raise awareness and to let the other students know and uh, people who will be watching know actually what are the options that are available because what students don't realize is that um, in the new age there are new type of programs that they can study and ultimately land in their preferred university right. because previously like in the outdated system there was only after you done your HSC there's only bachelors right. if you can't do bachelors you can do a diploma in the local uh, community and you know be done with it or I don't yeah. In the new age, when we have foundation and degree transfer program, it allows students from different streams and categories and results to actually get a head start and pursue their dream of uh, studying abroad. So yeah, um, please feel free to contact any of our branches in the numbers given below. You can also visit any of our branches and uh, take expert counseling. All our services are completely free of cost. Again, I would like to thank Alex for uh, giving us some time and uh, doing this session. Um, thank you once again. And uh, yeah, uh, it was a wonderful session. Wonderful to have you. Thank you so much for having me. And thank you for the opportunity to speak about the programs that we have and also the city of Adelaide. And I hope to welcome you soon on campus. Come to Adelaide, please look for me. I always like to welcome new students on campus and make them feel welcome because that's what we stand for. Thank you. All right. Thank you, guys.